What's up, MVP Nation? JMVP here. Got a one package mail day. Uh, I'm not going to show it on camera because it's address, but I got a one package mail day here from uh, Matt, aka Brentwood Sports and Collectibles. A uh, small backstory on Matt. He uh, used to have a his own LCS, used to have his own card shop in Atlanta, now resides in uh, California. And uh, on his channel, I, I want to say he's newer, just like me. Um, I think we started out around the same time, but he's been uh, doing a bunch of basketball uh, rips. And uh, he's been chronicling them by year, from like 86 to 91, then he went from 91 to 92, 92, 93, 93, 94, the NBA season. So um, I think he's up to, uh, I think, year 2000 or 2001. I'm excited for him to get to the year 2003, you know, for LeBron James, Melo, and that draft class. Uh, so hopefully he has some product to show us from that. But if you guys haven't checked him out, link to his channel will be in the description below. I uh, highly re recommend his, chan uh, his channel. Um, he did own a, a card shop, like I said. In fact, he threw in a business card here. Uh, here he is, Grant Wood Sports and Collectible, Matt Hans. But anyway, here he sent, uh, he got us a letter. I'll read the letter here in a second, but he threw in a Binder Material 1, Binder Material 2, Binder Material 3, which is awesome. Can't wait to get into that, check out what we got in there. He threw in this uh, open last, which I definitely will open that up last. He's attached a letter here, oh, and uh, two packs of 91 upper deck, so very cool. Got a bunch of these sets already. I don't mind opening these packs, so might find one in a better condition of something I like that I don't or that I already have. And then he threw in this uh, awesome Hank Aaron Hollow, which is Hank Aaron Hollow. If you guys don't know, is from the 91 upper deck uh, pack. So right here, as you can see, one 3D team hol hollow. <laughs> One 3D team logo hologram per pack. 15 baseball cards per pack. Um, but right there, find the Hank Aaron. So I guess that's what you're looking for. And I guess that's what we got. It's a beautiful card. Hell of a ball player too. If you're younger and you've heard Hank Aaron's name but know nothing about him, if you have ESPN Classic, that's what I used to watch in the 90s. Yeah, that caught me up on all my sports and sports history. So check that out, hollow up right there. It's shiny, nice. Beautiful. All right, here we got a letter here. Sorry, guys. JMVP. Just a few things I wanted to send your way. Thank you for supporting my channel. Enjoy watching all your videos as you build and enjoy collecting. You are a true asset to the community. Matt, Brentwood Sports and Collectibles. Again, channel will be his link to his channel will be in the description below. So please check Matt out. Uh, you will not be disappointed. I promise. Um, what should we do here, guys? Uh, pack ribs. I guess. Let's just uh, do a quick run and just get to this binder material real quick, guys, and then uh, we'll get we'll get into that there. But I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this because I know I'm making this video already too long. But I know some guys like to see this. So binder material one, nice little insert there. Some Mark Pryor action, Matt Clement. That's nice. Oh. Shiny tops chrome there, Sosa. Love these cards because this is actually how I start my son's binders with all like the Cubs history. Um, all those inserts, team cards, stuff like that. Beautiful cards. Look at this Shawan Dustin. Beautiful. What is this from? 95. There you go with those nine, that 90s shine right there. 90s insert. Beautiful. Look at this. This is just beautiful too. See, so I almost feel like, you know, uh, like Bowman Platinum with what they do with their base cards. If they just kept it simple and just threw on some foil like this, um, I'd be an even bigger fan of their product, you know. I think nowadays everyone's trying to get too, too fancy. They're getting too carried away. Keep it simple. Throw in some cool stuff. Throw foil here or there. And uh, I'm sure their sales would skyrocket. This is awesome. Look at this. Beautiful Topps Finest card here. Where we got this from? This is from... This is also 95. So beautiful. Really appreciate you, Matt. And you went way out of your way to do this for me, brother. You really didn't have to. Fred McGriff, awesome. Another Fred McGriff here. Coglin, Bruce Sutter, Zo Solaire. Nice man. I really can't wait to get these. And uh, it's weird. I have like a Cubs, well, Cubs boxes. Look at that. I'm hungry. Uh, Cubs boxes, but then I have my binders. It's weird. Like the binder stuff is everyone that's played um, for the Cubs since my son's taken interest in baseball which was 2015 
um, and then everything else is uh, separated in boxes. So, all right, we're getting the binder material too here. Another thing I saw on Matt's channel, I couldn't believe it. Um, Indies Gal 38, which I'm sure all you guys know, Indies Gal 38 sent uh, Matt some cards, Clark, and uh, she sent him some cards. Gosh, this is so hard to to talk and tell a story while I looked at these cards. This is beautiful, man. Really appreciate this. And uh, yeah, she sent him uh, some cards, and in one of the packs he opened up, he pulled a uh, on card. Brett Favre, I believe it was while he was still in college, or it might have been just his rookie year, but anyway, just an insane pull out of a pack that uh, Andy's Gal 38 sent him, so if you guys haven't seen that, definitely need to go to his channel and watch that video, it was, it was pretty surprising, it was a crazy pull, I've never seen, um, at least, you know, I've seen stuff like that in person, but not anyone on YouTube get something, you know, old like that open it up and then get such a, a crazy hit. So they show shiny prior there. Oh look at this. Got a carry wood here. And then we got a carry wood acetate. Who started that? See that? See the finger? Who started that? Was it baseball card junkies TV? Tops 8541 or was it Mr. Russo? Who started that? <laughs> I wanna know if anybody knows put it below. Alright. Binder material three I think I said a couple weeks ago before I went to the National, I was like, I'm going to make my video shorter. And I said, you know what? It's kind of hard to do when you like baseball cards. When you like football cards, if you just like cards in general. You know what I mean? Um, for those that don't like it, there is a button down below. Fast forward. You can also skip. You can slide the slider. Skip ahead if you want. Um, but Orlando Pace, awesome for my Buckeyes PC. Little Jerry Glu Lucas from Ohio State. John Havlicek, the guy was a stud back in the day, my Jerry Lucas, Wilson Contreras, man, this guy, uh, really, really have high hopes for that kid, um, I did for him, this guy too, <laughs> he needs to pick it up, but Contreras, he looks like the real deal, I, I like watching him play, he, he, his character, he, how he's, anim he's very animated while he plays, just like Javi Baez, I, I like watching guys like that, Chris Bryan opening day, nice, speaking of Javi, there he is, Addison Russell, Arietta, Wood. Too bad of Kerry Wood. They, they ruined his arm. They really did. If they took care of him, he, he had a hell of a career. Nice. I've never seen this. What is this? Say, uh, 2003. Huh. Never seen these before. It's a cool card. Start with Castro, Montero. Montero, that guy. Garza. Nice. Got a rookie here of Alberto Cabrero. I really appreciate this, Matt. I mean, I, you know, I don't know if you guys can tell, just anytime I get a, a care package, I'm, I'm very nervous doing these. You know what I mean? Um, that's cool. Our Sosa here. But yeah, I really uh, I appreciate this. I really do. Half the time, I just don't even know what to say. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sean Dunson and another uh, Ryan Sandberg here. So very cool. All right, let's get into this uh, open last right here. I'm kind of scared to see what's in here. I see a Griffey. All right, open last. So, got a Griffey here out of studio. It's gonna be 93. Leaf Studio, very cool. Love it. Again, another beautiful 90s uh, insert here. Actually, this would be a base, I think. But beautiful card. Nice. And then a uh, Chris Carter. No, I don't like the Eagles, guys. He is a Buckeye. This is beautiful. I believe this is a, a Ricky card. No. Is it? Oh, it says 88, 89. Maybe. Todd, I help you out with baseball. Help me out with football. Is this a Ricky card? <laughs> and then, oh, nice. We've got a uh, prime time right here. Deion Sanders. One of my uh, guys I looked up to, favorite one of my favorite players when I was younger. Here he is with the Braves and the uh, the Falcons. Very cool. I don't think I have this one. Very cool. And then uh, here's another one for the PC. Bo Jackson. Very cool, man. I like that. Look what you just did here. Jeez. Ken Griffey. Uh, Prime time. Chris Carter. Who I think is he. He doesn't get enough love. 
Chris Carter. As soon as Randy Moss came, they kind of pushed him to the side. Chris Carter was a, a hell of a wide receiver. Bo Jackson, Bo knows. And then uh, this is this is just you guys are gonna think I'm weird, but this is just very cool. Very very cool, Matt. I really 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 appreciate this. Um, one thing I do love more than baseball cards, uh, obviously more besides my family, is uh, playing golf. I play golf quite a bit. And uh, one thing I, I'm mad and I regret not doing was collecting um, Tiger Woods cards. Um, to, sh to tell you guys or tell you a little bit about how, how big of a Tiger Woods fan I am, uh, and I still am, through all the drama and everything that's gone on with him, I, I love Tiger Woods to death. Um, if you knew the background on him and the story on him, you, you kind of almost feel, for, feel bad for him in a way and kind of see his downfall and, and why he is the way he is now. But uh, Tiger Woods has always meant something to me as, as a kid. And then uh, I think any kid that had a dad that played golf, when Tiger Woods stepped on the scene, if you didn't have golf clubs, I think at least by I think when he hit that hole in one, either it was 96 or 97 at the Waste Management Tour, your dad bought you golf clubs like the next day and was taking you to the golf course because that's what my dad did. <laughs> um, everyone wanted their kid to be the next Tiger Woods, but uh, this card right here, this is actually, I don't know if it'll say on the back, does it? In 2000, Woods came through with one of the greatest seasons in sports history. Rank? No, it doesn't say. All right, so this picture right here is actually known as like the walk-in putt. When Tiger Woods, you know, he pointed at the ball and basically like he putted it. He walked with the ball while it was rolling and then just fell in the hole, right? When he got to the hole, all he had to do was pick it up. The crowd went nuts. But this was at, I believe, I think it was either 2000 or 2001. Well, it says 2000 on the back. So 2000 at uh, Valhalla. The PGA Championship was at Valhalla. And he walked it in on the 16th right here for uh, Birdie um, to, I believe it was, to win the PGA Championship that year, to win the major. So, um, yeah, I know a lot about Tiger Woods. I probably know more about Tiger Woods than any of these other guys, to be honest. So, this is very cool, man. I I'll cherish this one for sure because this, this is the first Tiger Woods card I have in my collection. So, this one means a lot, man. I really appreciate that. Um, again, guys, Matt, you check him out, Brentwood Sports and Collectibles, if you haven't already subbed to him. Um, and this is awesome, too, guys. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed. Um, I've got two of these now, so this is my third one, which is very cool. Um, it's numbered out of 10,000, so nothing crazy. Um, don't let this stuff in the background, like, throw you off. I'm a low-budget collector. Retail, you know, cheap singles on eBay. I'm more of a an about an abundance than really like this 105 uh, patch auto here. Um, I am more of an abundance guy. I want to see a lot of Chris Bryant, so I'll show you guys all my stuff here soon. But this is very cool. So now I have three of them. And there's Schwarber on the back. So very cool. I mean, if anybody else has some, I, I'd like to have all 10,000. That'd be very cool. <laughs> But Matt, man, I am blown away. Um, I do have to apologize to you. Um, it did take me a while to get this video up. I've, I've been super busy. I had the national. Um, uh, you can ask the guys I was there with. It was it was very late for me even driving back um, from hanging out with them guys on the last day or the, the, the last night, I guess you could say. Baseball season just started up for us again. I coach baseball for those of you that don't know. And uh, just been very busy. And uh, again, sorry it took so long. Um, I'm not going to end it right here, guys. But if you guys want to go, go ahead. I'm going to crack into these while I'm still hot, I guess, and go on. I'm, I'm just really amped up. I can't get over this Tiger Woods card. All right, let's get into these short videos. What's a short video? I'm in this community to hang out. You want to look at my cards? Look at my cards. <laughs> I like interacting with everybody, you know? I mean, believe me, if my neighbors in my neighborhood were interested in this stuff, I wouldn't be on YouTube, you know? But how many of you guys have people in your name? I mean, I have one guy. I know one guy um, in my neighborhood. He'd, he'd love to talk cards, trade, do all that stuff. But, I mean, that's it. You know what I mean? I got Jack Frost nearby. He collects bait, uh, football. But, you know, you don't have an abundance. You get on YouTube, there's hundreds of us. There's thousands of us, you know? We'll never meet everybody, but... That's what I'm here for. You know, interact. You want to ask me something, ask me something in the comments. I'll shoot the shit with you all day. Uh, that's how I met Todd. <laughs> so we got Danny Jackson here starting off with the Cubs. Look at that. Boom. Bo Jackson. Very nice. Look at that. It's just it's just sticking, staying with the PC. And if you guys don't know, uh, 
that's a girl in a California flag. I spent most of my life in California. My dad was in the military. So my actual, my favorite team is actually the Dodgers. My, my, this is what my son likes. I collect for my son. Um, Butler, Jim Reardon, uh, Jim Presley here. Got uh, Milt Thompson, Dennis Boucher, Scott Sanderson. Sorry guys, I think I'm getting off camera here. Robin Ventura, that's very cool. We got a uh, Dana Allison, I think. There it is. Hey, shout out to Smitty too, guys, real quick. Uh, he's new to YouTube. He's an A's collector. He's got some cool stuff too. Go check him out. Uh, Shawan Dustin, nice. Pat Kelly. A uh, Reggie Jefferson. And a Mike Gallego. And our Texas Rangers hollow sticker. Very cool. 3D hollow sticker, might I say. And Tim Browning. All right, one more pack, guys, and I'll end it. I'm sorry. Who's still here to the end, anyway? Anybody? Let me know. <laughs> I want to know who's watching. Who enjoys listening to me blab and blab and blab and blab? Uh, Rich Delusia. Who wants me to shut up? Put that down there, too. Put it below. I don't care. You won't hurt my feelings. Tell me if I need to shut up. Dwight Evans. <laughs> Another Dwight Evans. We got a Red Sox Dwight Evans. And we've got uh, Orioles, Dwight Evans. The only thing that really changed on him was the uniform. He has the same stash. <laughs> Scott, uh, Steve Petrosian. Uh Hubie Brooks. This is weird. I'm not. I'm not familiar with a lot of these guys in this, these packs. I'm open. Besides that first pack, oh, I know Joe Carter. Here we go. Tony Fernandez, Lenny Dykstra. There's another one I know. I know this guy, obviously. Slocum. I know this guy, obviously. My career, this guy had Greg Maddox. Nice. This is an Alomar. I have a bunch of these. Uh, George Bell. We've got a Hank Aaron here. Very cool baseball heroes. Is this a sticker? What's going on here? Why is it? Oh no, the hollow is stuck to the back of it. Let's see if I can get this off without hurting the card. And yep, there we go. And the last one's a Jeff Montgomery. Follow up Hank Aaron with the Jeff Montgomery, whoever that guy is. And we've got a Detroit Tigers Hollow. I know a Detroit Tigers fan. This will be in your uh, care package. But anyway, guys, Matt, brother, really appreciate you, man. Uh, I mean, all of this and just the thought you put into this care package. Um, I've got to figure out something for you, something, some way to hook you up, man. Um, <laughs> I'm just still stoked about this. You guys are stoked about one-on-ones and RPAs and all that crap. This thing is, this thing's amazing. I treat all my cards like they're all one-on-ones, believe it or not. But really appreciate this, Matt. And again, just the thought you put into this. And I really appreciate your videos too. Um, you, you do an amazing job with your channel, and I love coming there watching you do pack rips and, and learning a few things that I didn't know. Because um, I think that's. Uh, one thing everyone should be doing when they're watching people's videos is not just looking, you know, stop using your eyes and use your mind, use your ears, you know, learn something. Learn something about the person, and learn something about cards. But anyway, I'm blabbing too. <laughs> but anyway, guys, again, check him out. Link in the channel, or link to his channel will be in the description below. And as always, guys, slug that like button, subscribe to join the MVP Nation. Thanks, guys.